That's right, Joanne. She was. She was going southbound here on County Line Road. That's when she was went through the red light and we're told was hit by a car going westbound on 26 Mile Road and almost immediately afterwards hit by another car. This time it was going in the eastbound direction. I was walking out the door and I heard two bangs. You know, something getting hit. I look over at the intersection and I see the van rolling over. What went through your mind? Oh, I hope everybody's all right. Now, David Shirky called 911. He says he saw the van fly into the air and roll before coming to arrest. Chesterfield Township police say the 35 year old woman who is from Casco Township was driving her five kids to school after they had missed the school bus. An 11 year old boy, a 12 year old girl, and 13 year old boy were being taken to Anchor Bay Middle School North. Also, an 8 year old and 10 year old girl were also on their way to McCants Elementary. Now, investigators say the mom did not suffer life threatening injuries. However, all five kids were seriously and badly hurt. The most critical right now, we're being told, is the 11 year old boy. He was uh, in severe and in critical condition. All of the children were taken to Mount Clemens Regional Hospital, but at this time, all five of them had been transported back to Children's Hospital in Detroit. Now, as for the people in the other two vehicles, they did suffer minor injuries, nothing serious, but witnesses tell us they clearly had the right of way because if you had looked at the green light, you would have seen it was a solid green, it wasn't yellow or anything. Anything like that, they had a solid green light. So it does at this time, at least from witness accounts and also from the police, appear that the mother did run the red light. Live in Chesterfield Township, Smitha Cloakey, 7 Action News. Yeah, it is an unfortunate story there, Smitha. You mentioned those students went to Anchor Bay. At least they were in the school district there. Is the district trying to do anything at this time? Well, they're uh, proceeding cautiously here. As you know, this happened right before school started around 7.30, so not everybody within the district knew about it when it happened. So they do have a crisis team that is on hand to handle any questions or concerns that these kids might have, but it'll uh, unfold more as the day goes on. All right, Smitha Kamiki, uh, Smitha Kaloki reporting.